Well, I just finished my Mustang, and uh, now it's time for me to go through the hours and hours of uh, video edited into a uh, one DVD or two DVD set uh, on how to sculpt a horse from scratch. And uh, I really enjoyed doing this. This, was, this has been a fun project. There are times when it's frustrating, but uh, you know, all sculptures have some point where they get a little frustrating. All right, uh, I will announce uh, when this DVD is available, or these DVDs, and uh, I'll let you know. Now, let me show you what I'm going to be working on next. Right, I'm thinking of adding this horse to this piece, and if I do, I'm probably going to put him either in this position or in this position. But whatever I do, I have to increase the width of the uh, base and the length of it so that it accommodate it. And so I'm going to figure that out right now. Well, this is how I'm going to position the horses. Um, their hooves are going to be about the same height from the ground. Uh, this horse is a little more... Uh, is, is level now, whereas it was going downhill before, but it gives the impression that uh, there's a strong uh, wind coming up. Um, I think I'm going to change the title of this because I think what I'm going to do is have a warrior on top of this horse and another warrior standing beside this horse with his arm over his, the horse's back and, and trying to pull uh, on the reins uh, somehow or trying to grab the reins. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But I like the idea of something going on here and you're able to see him there. And uh, design wise, it works all the way around. And that's really what you've got to pay attention to. Uh, so, what I did, I went to the uh, hardware store. Oh, but I'm, this is uh, what I did also. I raised the, uh, the whole platform up and uh, jury rigged it or jigged it so that uh, I could have a, an extended surface um, cutting uh, two by twos uh, the distance between the, uh, book, the book, this bottom board that I've got here well you can't see it can you? well maybe no you can't well anyway I got a bottom board that I mount, mounted this one on with the original horse and uh, so that I could mount this you know little jigs to hold up the wood for the extended portion of the uh, base. It's something, you, you know, when you need to do something, you figure it out somehow. <laughs> I figured it out. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, take this bolt here. And what I'm going to do is drive it down into the uh, board there. turned out on my clay. It's, you have it on an automatic timer. I don't usually stay this late. Can put a screw right there for that foot.
to reposition this uh, screw here. Good old electrician's tape. Comes up real ah, handy. <laughs> Got no strength in my arms. See, this will add strength to this horse too, since he's only on two legs. This one's only on two legs. This gives me a uh, grand total of four points of uh, contact on the ground, which strengthens the uh, bronze me immeasurably. So I'm just going to finish uh, wrapping this again. All right. That's pretty stable now. I decided not to put the uh, saddle on the horse and decided not to do the uh, cowboy. And, uh, these are more like uh, Indian ponies than they are anything else. And uh, I guess the storyline will be that uh, the two warriors got caught out in the middle of the prairie and a tornado is coming their way. Thus the uh, title uh, Coming Storm, or I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call it yet. I was thinking War Clouds, and it still may be the title. But uh, I'm, this thing is changing as I work on it, so who knows what the title will be. Now I'll show you what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to be working on approaching storm. I'm uh, going to get it ready to go to the foundry to be cast into bronze. It's been sitting like this for about two or three years, so I've got a lot of touching up to do before I can uh, finalize it. And uh, one of the figures that I'm going to start working on, I think I got this detached. You know, I may have to look it over, but anyway, I'm going to work on the the horse, and I can take the horses apart and work on them separately and all that stuff, so that's what I'm going to be doing next. And this I will show on a daily basis as I work on it. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.